Hi guys, how are you all doing? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is very casual. I decided to sit down and share with you what I've been loving lately. I also have some new purchases that I haven't unboxed here and shown you. So I decided to sit down and show you those as well. So if you're interested, keep watching and also don't forget to come follow me on my Instagram which is this one here where I upload my daily outfits, I upload what's new, what I've bought so if you're interested come check out my Instagram as well. So yeah let's get started because I have so many goodies to show you. So the first item that I want to show you is something new that I've been testing for probably more than two months if not more definitely two months at least. Um, and I didn't want to show you it when I first got it because I wanted to try it out, see if it works, see if I'll get used to it. I know you're probably getting curious now, what is it? It is a new pillow. I bet you didn't expect that. <laughs> so this, guys, is my new beauty pillow. And this one is from Sleep and Glow. And the main benefit of this pillow is its anti-aging effect. So as you can see it has a very unique shape. I'll insert some close-up so you can have a closer look at this pillow. It also has a silk pillowcase on top. You know how much I love sleeping on silk pillowcases. There are two types of wrinkles, expression and sleep wrinkles caused by um, distortion against the pillow. And this pillow is great because there is a face spot on both sides and there is nothing to push on the side of your face causing wrinkles. The pillow is also very soft, it's memory foam and very very comfortable and some of the other benefits are that it reduces puffiness because of the specially designed anatomic shape of the pillow. I also love this pillow because it protects your lashes, especially if you have eyelash extensions. I currently don't have eyelash extensions but because of the side face cradles you're not lying on your face rubbing your lashes against it. Um, so it does protect your lashes as well. So if we look at the pillow closely, you can see that there is a higher and lower end side so your neck and shoulders can cradle into that. So make sure you have it the right way when you sleep on it, if you get it. It's very comfortable to sleep on your back as well. It's the perfect height and it gives you a really good neck support and I do struggle with back and neck pain because of my work and because of what I do because I'm in front of the computer all day pretty much every day. It did come packed really nicely and I think I filmed a short unboxing but I never posted it because I wanted to try it out first and see how I find it. There is also a very detailed instruction booklet inside which is very handy. So yeah, read the booklet before I throw it away because it does give you suggestions how to get used to the pillow quicker, how to sleep correctly on it. I'm not gonna lie, the first week I struggled and I had to swap back to my old pillow but that was because I wasn't using it correctly, I was sleeping on the higher side and I was wondering why can I not get used to this pillow because it seems so comfortable and soft, it should be easy to get used to it but I wasn't using it right so um, that's why but now I love it and it definitely lived up to my expectations so I highly recommend this beauty anti-wrinkle pillow. I think I have a discount code, I will leave it down below for you guys and yeah, check out the description box, everything will be linked down there. Okay, so next let's move on to some fashion bits. I have something new from Chanel, it comes in this box. I think I showed you this on my Instagram, so if you have been following, let me get it actually because it's not in here. So these are actually posted on my Instagram stories. It is a pair of vintage Chanel sunglasses, the Kylie Jenner sunglasses <laughs> that everyone wants now. Because of her, she posted a picture uh, wearing a pair of vintage sunglasses like these. I think hers is a slightly different color and everyone is going crazy about these now. Um, so I'll link where I got mine from. They're in perfect condition. They have these little crystals that I love, the CC little logos with crystals. I love them. I picked the brown ones because I thought they would be easier to style and I also loved that they have a gold frame. You know that I love gold so I had to pick up this color combo uh, but they come in other colors as well. I just preferred these and I thought they suit my complexion and hair better. They'll be easier to style. So these are them. Let me know what you think. When I first got them, I was like, oh, should I keep them? Should I not? I wasn't sure. You can tell they're vintage, like the shape is a bit like old. <laughs> um, but yeah, do you think they are cool? Yeah, let me know. Let me know in the comments. What do you guys think? <laughs> 
Oh my god guys, you have no idea what just happened. I had to stop filming for a bit and look for my next favourite because I think I lost them. It's a pair of earrings. I brought them with me here to show you and I don't know where I put them because they're so tiny and delicate. I can't find them anywhere. Hopefully Yoshi didn't swallow them or something. <laughs> okay, this is actually really funny because I did bring them with me and I put them right here next to me so I can quickly show you them and now they're gone. <laughs> so they disappeared, but it is my new pair of Saint Laurent earrings that I think I lost. I can't find them. <laughs> okay, chill Maria, you will find them later. And I have insert a close up when I find them. Now maybe because I'm rushing, I'm panicking, I can't find them, but I will find them later and insert a clip. These, if you've missed my latest vlog, I did by, I would say, two weeks ago, maybe less than two weeks ago, a week and a half ago. And I love them so much. They're my new favorite pair of earrings. They're so beautiful, they're so delicate, very light. You can't really feel that you're wearing any earrings. I honestly, these are my new favorite pair of earrings. They're so, so beautiful and so dainty. And I picked them up in gold. They come in three different styles. So I'll link the different styles down below. Definitely a huge, huge, huge favorite. Hopefully I won't have to repurchase them because <laughs> I can't see them now anywhere. But yeah, these are my new favorite earrings. Talking about jewellery, something that I'm wearing and I didn't lose <laughs> is my new necklace. So this is it. I'm not sure if it's showing very well, but I will insert a close-up. This is my new APM Monaco initial necklace and I love these because they're customizable. So my one, there is a little message at the back which is in the tiniest font you can imagine it's very difficult to read but i wanted it that way i wasn't going to show you it at the back because it's personal but even if i show you you won't be able to read it because it's so tiny which i'm very happy about because <laughs> only i want to know what it says at the back so yeah it has my initial uh, it has the beautiful multicolored crystals that are very reflective. I love them. It looks great with anything and you can also adjust the length. You can also get the same without the crystals on the side. So just a plain, um, like a, it looks like a little coin. So like a plain gold coin with your initial. These come so nicely wrapped. Actually, I have a little gift for Laura. I picked up one for Laura, which I wasn't going to show you, but I'm pretty sure I will give it to her before she sees this video. So I will show it to you up close as well. And this one is again personalized. I picked her letter and I wrote a message. This is my handwriting at the back. So it's even more personal because you can use your own handwriting, but you can also like type a little message. You can customize these in so many different ways. You can add a drawing at the back so yeah this is my new favorite initial necklace i have been wearing it every day literally so yeah i love that <laughs> right let's break it up with some fashion clothing pieces so i picked up two really cute pieces from under stories and i know their stuff sells out quite quick so i wanted to show you them before they're gone i bought this beautiful fluffy lilac top it is so fluffy and soft I bought this to wear with my lilac <laughs> jacket from Andara Stories again. I thought they would be a perfect combo. They will look really cute together. It is slightly cropped, but I sized up. Um, so with high-waisted jeans, it actually looks really nice and not too short. And what I love the most about this top is the square neck. I find square necks so flattering on me um, because I have a bigger chest. And um, yeah, I just prefer square necks to any other next really the next one i think the next one many of you will love it is a really cute mohair cardigan okay it's unbuttoned now but i will button it up it has these beautiful can you guys see silver heart shaped big heart shaped buttons and they make the cardigan look so adorable it has big balloon sleeves it fits true to size maybe slightly oversized so I picked up a size medium and I think it looks fine on me. Moving on with the blue team, another huge favorite this month is my new trendy, which I actually wore earlier today, that's why it's open. 
So this you might have seen me unbox in probably my previous video. I'm not sure when that video went up, but it's probably my previous video. I will make sure I link it up here so you can check it out if you're curious. This is a pre-loved bag, but as you can see, it is in a perfect condition. It was a huge score from Designer Exchange, so definitely check them out. Their stuff sells out so quick. I saw the cutest uh, black square mini bag that I know it's very popular. It's always sold out, the classic black square mini. And they had it for, I think, 2,600 on the website in perfect condition. Um, and it got sold within minutes, probably, or hours. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, this is my new trendy that I've been wearing and loving a lot. I love this colour. It was meant to be because I was looking at this exact colour last year for my birthday. I have a shopping vlog from that day and I did try this bag on and I said I really loved the colour. So I guess it was meant to be and I added a little M charm hair from Fendi because um, I think it goes well. It's blue. Yeah. Okay, next I want to show you something absolutely stunning. I received the most beautiful PR ever from Christian Louboutin Beauty. I showed you this on my Instagram stories. I couldn't wait to unbox it and check out what was inside the box. And I was pleasantly surprised because inside I found one of my favourite Louboutin products, which is... I mean, I love all their... I have their lipsticks, I have their lip glosses, I have the nail varnishes. The nail varnishes, the classic red nail varnish, is definitely one of my favourite Louboutin beauty products. And now they have this new matte range that is exclusive to Selfridges and exclusive to the Louboutin website. So you can find them there, I will link them down below. I will show you a close-up of the box and what I received. I received some of the new matte lipsticks that look so stunning in this packaging, like the packaging is everything and the new matte nail varnishes and I love both shades and this is actually what I'm wearing today, this is what I have on my nails, I absolutely love it. It looks so velvety and it is the perfect shade for fall, I do tend to wear red during the fall periods. Um, so yeah, red is perfect and they sent me a deeper shade of red which will be perfect for winter, for the colder months. So I can't wait to wear those. The lipsticks are also very comfy, they're matte and again look very velvety and long lasting on the lips. So I love that. Thank you so much for sending this Louis Vuitton Beauty. Two more new favourite beauty products are the Chanel Lip Balm. I have spoken about this again in previous videos however I did have the one in the pot which I don't know why I used to buy the one in the pot all the time because it's not really convenient and hygienic to use so now I switched to the one in the bullet it's the exact same formula this I find very compact very easy to bring in your bags it is small it's the same formula uh, which I love, very hydrating and especially now my lips have been very very dry because I wear those really annoying masks, face masks all the time and my lips get very dry and horrible so this really helps so if you suffer from very dry lips um, I just wear this under my mask and honestly it's a lifesaver a lip saver <laughs> so I love this product especially now this is my new favourite in the bullet version I, I think I will keep repurchasing the bullet not the one in the pots and the other favourite beauty product that I also shared with you, uh, I showed you that I bought this. I did start using this beautiful Gucci bronzer and it is my new favourite bronzer. However, I have to warn you, if you are a beginner in makeup, <laughs> in contouring, this could be a bit trickier to use because it's very pigmented. Very very pigmented. You have to be very light-handed. Other than that, I love it. I love the formula. It's very easy to blend, but again, apply it. I would suggest you apply it with a very big fluffy brush and you just dip a little bit, like touch the powder like slightly with your brush and it will be enough, trust me, which actually means that this you would be able to use for a very long time because you need a tiny little bit of product um, and it goes a long way, so um, this will last you forever, literally. 
Okay, so I have two more favorites to show you. They're both from my favorite H&M home. I bring only one because the other one is a vase and it has flowers and water and it's in the other room. So I only brought one, but I will insert clips so you can see them together and how I like to display them. I really hope these are not sold out because I know these have been quite popular. I got the inspiration from the bum <laughs> vase that is so popular. It's everywhere on Instagram and I really wanted that one but it was quite pricey it was 350 pounds i believe plus it was sold out so i found these two instead and i actually think they're great they're both very inexpensive i can't remember the exact price now i believe the vase was about 20 pounds and this was like 12 15 pounds this is a candle by the way um which i did burn but because i'm a beginner and i have no idea how to burn candles <laughs> Uh, I didn't burn it correctly and now there is like a tunnel so I have to empty it and use it as something else that's why I actually love this because you can use it as a small vase you can put flowers inside or you can use it as a storage you can put pencils on your desk pens and pencils and put it on your desk it will look so nice so yeah huge favorite it smells so nice Actually, this candle, I hope it's still available. It's very fresh, nice scent. I really wish I burnt it correctly. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is the candle and I also really love the vase. I put some flowers inside that I also found from H&M Home. They're real flowers, but you can also dry them. They told me you can dry them and they will stay like this forever. They're very colorful and beautiful. And they were very inexpensive as well. I think they were like six pounds. Okay guys, that's all. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you guys think and also share your favorites down below in the comments. I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching again and I'll see you very soon in my next video.